Hello! Here we go, today is on the balcony and bridging. So, whoop, first thing. Please take your feet up four inches apart-ish, four or five inches in line with your bum bones. Not too wide, not the width of your body. Um, that's the skeletal alignment for your legs. And when you lie down, place them at a position that feels comfortable for you. You can play with further away or, or closer. First thing, lift your arms up, wiggle your shoulders so you get long. You don't need to jam your ribs into the mat, okay? If you go, ha, ah, you'll soften. And then we have a little bit of space underneath the lower back. Hip bone, pubic bone, the triangle. If I put my glass of wine on there, which I have soon, that is parallel to the floor. And then I get the length that my body needs before I start. You can keep your arms on the ground, please do. I'm just doing this to show so you can see, okay? Breathe in, deep belly breath. And then you exhale from your pubic bone to pelvic floor into your belly. And that is the start of your roll up. So the bridge is the spine curling up and through, long body line, and the arms can help you there. Now, this is what often happens, especially if you do yoga, you really over arch the upper back. So today I'm gonna ask you just to soften that down a little bit. Different reasons, different things. So today, Pilates wise, we're articulating our spine, I'm not coming super high. So you curl through your spine. It's a rolling, articulating one. See, there's a line from my knee to my hips to my shoulders. Keep your face looking at the ceiling so you don't flatten your neck. The breastbone softens, then your mid-back, then your lower back and your bum goes down. Kathy Grant's slam board, she kept her arms here, which helps to get where you need to come to. You drop the ribs, so you move from the top arm to the mid arm. You keep reaching your thighs until your butt comes back into its neutral pelvis. <laughs> this is what we often see. Pelvis goes a little bit and then boing, you skip a bit of your back, okay? You're gonna maybe have some flat spots in your spine and that's okay, that's what we're gonna try to work through. So you keep curling, curling, tucking the pelvis under you and that will create the rolling sensation. That pelvis continues to roll through your bridge. On the way down, again, you keep the pelvis curling as you soften the ribs. Duh, 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 duh. Okay, if you see there, I'm dragging my feet towards my bum and sliding my knees away. That's gonna engage the back of my legs and poof, that butt line, which I spend a lot of my time touching if you're one of my clients, I know that. But that's where we wanna come from. If I squeeze my butt, uh, I clench and my core contracts massively hard. And that's not what we're after. It's a softening in with the belly a dragging of the heels, a reaching of the knees, and a rolling through of the spine. And then uh, down. Now, some of you, your knees might fall apart. So you might want to put a ball there, one hip might drop. Um, so focus a little bit big toes often. Now, if you super clench and try to jam your back down, look at the tension in my neck and shoulders. Overarching at the back bottom again, keep that neutral. So when you go down, that's a little bit high for me there, when you go down, soften, long, 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 long body, and you won't kind of bunch up your core. Um, it's a bit of an art sometimes to get a decent bridge, I will admit. So there's my breastbone going, long line, tail curls, and your hamstrings will fire up. So turning to the side, we're gonna do some pelvis wiggles. So again, bridging up. If you've got three and nine o'clock at your hips, one's gonna drop down, so I spill my wine towards you, and then I spill it the other way. No shifting side to side, keeping the legs still, so the pelvis is rotating around your thighs. As you can see there, I'm staying, I'm thinking of staying in a tunnel, basically. Um, your butt's gonna work, but you don't need to squeeze it, and every now and again, you might lose your core, so just bring your awareness back to it. And you're trying to keep the height there. Now, if that's hard for you, yeah, by all means, drop down and do the move. So what I'm doing here is rolling down the one side and back up, twist, roll down the left side here, whee, no shifting, and roll back up the left side. So that's a nice way to get more rotation into your back. This is a shift, so I used to think, like a typewriter, go ching, it goes across. So what I'm gonna do is shift and then drop a little bit. Shift and drop. So it's really zigzagging the spine. There's lots of patterns you can play with here. I'm just giving you an example of a few. Again, if you feel that your legs constantly kind of rock outwards, put a, a small ball between your mid-thigh stroke up to your crotch, and that will help you keep the squeeze. But don't kill the ball. Gentle pressure. Now we're going into a leg lift. So pelvis curl, get the long line. I'm trying to open up the hips. 
I'm going to use my arms a wee bit there. Now you want to stay long as the leg comes up. So you'll start seeing I kind of hike and do some funky stuff. So we're aiming to keep the pelvis still, wee, not dropping. Core goes on, and if your core doesn't stay on, you, you actually see, wee, belly popping, and one side of the belly pops, it's really funky. Um, so again, lift through the belly, keep pushing down the pressure on the foot that's staying on the ground, and we want to keep long. So we lift and lower, get some extra work on that one side, big challenge on stability. That leg that's lifting, often that hip hikes, so my left hand is trying to keep my waist long. So it's just a lift and a lower, I'm not actually rolling through this one. So hand, wee, see, long body spine. Wee is the word for Friday. This is Friday, I'm recording it. My left leg is doing a lot of effort here through the hamstring into that butt fold area. And um, yeah, I got a little bit of cramp on that. My left hamstring was the one that sort of got a bit stupid after my disc slipped, so it's not always good at working for me. So this time instead, we're gonna lift up. Oh just a bit of rock of the pelvis so instead of articulating it's a lift it's like a drawbridge which is not articulation so I hold my neutral body and I pick up to the same space that I do if I was rolling and back down again different reasons for doing these things this is a little bit more um, gluten core holding we can do that lift slightly differently as well here so long body and I just pick up and down on the one leg so I'm gonna do three just lifting Again, right waistline is long. I'm aiming to keep my knee over my hip socket. And then I roll instead. And you'll feel a difference. The roll is great if you want spine articulation. The lift is awesome for a little bit different feeling in the hamstring. I'm just doing three. Obviously, take your pick however many you do here. Left leg now comes up. Long line through my left waist. Knee, wee, over hip. Okay. If you feel you can't keep that length, you'll see I move my knee a little bit away there. So move the, the leg so you can keep equal space in your waist. And that's gonna give you great alignment. So I'm rolling through. Again, my arms are here simply so you can see. Your arms being down will help, but you don't have to jam your arms into the mat, okay? It's just a light pressure through the arm bone. Now this is beautiful. Take your arms overhead. See my ribs lift, so I'm gonna soften. Coming up into the bridge. Now if I reach my arms as I come down, oh, get that lower back skimming the floor. And then I overarch a little bit, bring it back, and roll back through again. With the arms overhead, great way to get length through the body. Um, and if your arms staying all the way down on the ground make it a little bit hard for you to soften your ribs, just bring your arms up. Wee! <laughs> I love it. Wee, see? Belly. Gently draw it in so it don't, doesn't bulge out. And roll through your pelvis. Hopefully that's helped you with your bridge. Thanks for joining me, and here's the goodbye. Wee! Thanks, guys.